Harlem Blank. I'm here with Fomio Brown, King of Silver. Why are we here in front of this shuttered down store? We're here to tell you guys a story of how Harlem Blank started, how I met Romeo Brown, and I'm gonna take you guys along for this interesting journey. Now, let me tell you how I met this guy right here, the leader of Harlem Blink. By the way, I'm the King of Silver. I met him through this pawn shop right now. As you can see, it's closed. Now, yes, this, this pawn shop did exist. What, 10 years ago? Pretty much like 10, 10 years. years ten Fellas, what's going on? It's uh, the King of Silver. I'm here with my boy, Eddie. This ghost right here is the original piece that I bought from his pawn shop. Romeo Brown, when did you get this? How many years ago? Oh, it must have been like close to 10 years, and I kid you not. So we're in 2023. The thing is, there's a lot of reviews. There's a lot of YouTubers that are reviewing the stuff that they just got. Honestly, this is the most important review for me because I want to see how our jewelry holds up after five, after 10 years. Now, I will say the tongue is the only thing that is a lot lighter. When I first got enamel. it, yes, when I first got it, the tongue was a lot redder. Other than that, 10 years down the line, this is what it looks like. So, Romeo, did you clean it? Did you have to I polish it. it? I cleaned it. The only thing I did is put Dawn soap. Soak, let it soak for like five minutes. Took it out, and boom. Did stones fall out? No. Not a single stone has came out of this piece at all. And this, by the way, is the original chain for me shop. You mind? Go yes. right ahead. Guys, comment down below. Do you have any jewelry from Harlem Bling five years, ten years ago? See, this is one of our pendants. It's actually stamped Harlem Bling 925. We stopped stamping them about five, six years ago when we started dealing with a lot of wholesalers, a lot of guys reselling our jewelry. But, yeah. Really, we don't even sell this ghost anymore. I should bring it back. Who says I should bring it back? Romeo, should I bring this ghost back for the people? I think you should. To me, it was one of my favorite pieces that when I first bought it from you, I wear it almost every single day. And it looks pretty much brand new. Like I said, minus the tongue. Guys, right. off camera, Romeo told me $20,000. He might sell this. This is a piece of history at this point. So if anyone wants to buy 20 grand, hit up Romeo Brown on his channel. I'm not sure. Maybe he won't even sell it. What else do you have in here? Now, I also got a three-year stainless steel with 14 karat gold that I bought from off your website. And look, not a single thing has faded. No change, nothing. Again, guys, this is the result uh, the experience of one individual do stones fall out sure they do could stuff get broken do class break sure they do it's how you take care of your stuff but at harlem bling we really try our hardest to make sure that the jewelry meets the highest standards so it can happen and that's why we have a wonderful customer service team that's ready to help you but I asked Romeo Brown off camera, I'll ask him again, did anything lose stones? And I'm gonna keep it real, nothing that I've gotten has ever fallen out. Out, excuse me, no stones. This pendant right here, over a year old. This mm. one right here, that has 14 karat gold, that's wings, also over a year old. No color has faded. Every single piece you pretty much see in this jewelry is practically over a year old to three years old. The nugget. Look at that. It has not faded at all. 
By the way, Romy, what's on your neck? That shit is hitting. And it's dark outside. This right here is the spinning globe that I got on Harlem Bling's website with the red moissanite tennis chain and with the moissanite clear tennis chain. Romeo got those rings. Everything you see the here, new this is the new ring, dropped. the new cross that he just dropped. The R initial. The square. The star. And the wedding band. And of course you can't forget about the iced out Harlem Bling watch. Guys, so again, Romeo Brown, he has a very active lifestyle and his jewelry held up. With that being said, he has probably more jewelry than anyone else that I know from our company, from other companies. So if you just have one chain that you're gonna be wearing every day, your results might differ. However, at the end of the day, it's still a precious metal. And for instance, this one, it has some scratches, yes. but who cares? You polish it up. It's a little bent out, but again, it's the same as you'll see a car that's 10 years old. It's not gonna look like a car out of the dealership, but the substance is still the same. The car is still running. The ring is still hitting. That's yeah, what matters. That's correct. He pretty much nailed it on the ball when he said it. There might be a few scratches, little dinks, but it still holds up. And like I said before, every single piece here you see, it's like over three years to a year old. The oldest one I have is the ghost, the original. Comment below, should we bring this ghost back? You let me know, Silver Knights. You know who this is? This is Ghost Rider on his motorcycle. But really, this is the King of Souls. You know it.